Hi folks, so I thought I'd do a one month review of the Tiger 900 JTA Pro. Um, so I've had over a month and over a thousand miles. I think it's 1,100 and some mile I've done on it so far. Um, so am I still in love with the bike? Absolutely, what a fantastic machine this is. Is it perfect? Not at all. It isn't, no. Um, just a couple of small little things, I think. Uh, more niggles than faults with the bike um, first one is the engine that t-plane crank is brilliant but it does have a high frequency buzz on it once you hit 75 80 mile an hour you can feel it through the bars it is high speed buzzing um, but it's not what most people are used to t-plane crank I've come from a 270 degree parallel twin which was a buzzy engine, so I'm sort of used to it, but this is a little bit more high frequency, faster speeds, you can feel it through the bars after about 75, 80. Um, below, like up to 70, it's perfectly fine, you only get a little bit through the seat and the pegs, um, it's not obtrusive, it doesn't spoil the fun of the bike at all, um, I don't think, so that's the engine, that's the only fault I'm fine with the engine, a little bit of high speed buzzing, the rest of it's fantastic. It goes like a stabbed rat. It's got plenty of torque. It's great for road riding. Um, yeah, fantastic. Um, I've had a couple of little bits with the quick shifter, but I'm not sure whether that's me. That could be user error. Sometimes it hasn't shifted properly. Um, but this is the first bike I've had with a quick shifter, to be honest. Um, so I'm thinking it's just me. Possible wrong input on the throttle. I might be leaving off of it as I'm trying to lift up. You know coming from using the clutch all the time and um, so I think a couple of times it hasn't done it properly is probably is my fault not the bikes and um, but I'm not sure where I've heard some people say that the shift assist has gone a bit funny on them but 99% of the time it works great I think the other 1% I'm just being a pleb but you know you've got to be honest with these things Um I added the headlight guard to the bike Um doesn't make any difference to the beam the headlights are fantastic on this but that says for off-road use I've tried it on in the dark with it off and with it on there's no difference to the beam so it's up to you whether you want to add one if you've got one of these bikes and um, just be aware to fit it the beak has to come off and this whole assembly has to come off as well because there's mounts behind there for it Um, what else the screen I think it's great you do get a little bit of helmet turbulence once you start pushing into higher speeds above 70 mile now where I have tried it um, but to be honest that's probably bet better than what the CBF 1000 was with the Palmer products brackets on it um, I would say you get some buffeting on your shoulders and like your arms but that's because I think these could have possibly been a bit wider yeah, I know you can get them after market but hey ho you, know, you, you can't have everything hand guards could have been a little bit taller because you do get some wind on the on the back of your hands still but when it's red hot that's what you want that only probably bother people who ride these all year round I'm not an all year round rider and um, once the salt goes down on the road my bike comes off the road dashboard i find it perfectly fine some people have complained about the rev counter but i don't ride using the rev counter i just do it by engine noise and feel of the bike so that's up to everybody and um, cruise control on this fantastic switch gear i'm used to it from having the scrambler 1200 so yeah I'm perfectly happy with the switch gear on it. Heated seats, they're not red hot. They do get warm. So if you want something that's going to scorch you behind, you might want to look at some different type of seats. But I find these quite nice actually. They just help to give you a little bit of warmth on your car. So, heated grips, yeah. Just the same as what I had on me Scrambler 1200, so I knew what to expect with the heater grip. Some people have said they're not hot enough. 
well they're not competitor aftermarket Oxfords but Triumph could have made them a bit hotter but then you run into the fact of if you're riding this with summer gloves on which are really thin on the palm for the feel I've found these actually do get quite hot but with winter gloves you're probably not going to feel them that great uh, the shock shield I added is actually doing a pretty good job you still get a little spray around because it all comes up and airflow around the, the bike and everything yeah it still gets there but doing a pretty good job of keeping that shock clean yeah, and little infill panel I've fitted on the back yeah the back still gets a but that's coming up off the back wheel but it's not coming through anymore um, I have ordered another bit for it which is because I think it looks so unfinished when you look down and you've got the mount for the paddock stand spills yeah I just noticed me lock nuts come a little bit under and I'll have to go home and get that tightened up it just looks a little bit unfinished so I've ordered some paddock stand spills just to tidy that up and if the bike does drop over it's going to help protect the the bottom of the swing arm there um, as you can see she's absolutely filthy needs a good clean but overall I'm happy with the bike really happy with my purchase um, it's doing great uh, what, what's it got on it now I'll give you an exact figure so it has 1158 mile on the clock and absolutely runs like a dream so that is my one month over a thousand mile review oh yeah the um, fender extender extra if you know this is doing a great job because it is very clean up the headers and the radiators have already got a few little bugs in there but they come through past the front wheel anyway so that is doing a great job considering i've ra rode this in the rain and um, the bike's doing a better job than the absolutely useless boots which will be another another video because I yeah it's going to be another video on them but this was all about the bike and one month in and over a thousand miles because these have a thousand mile running period so it's completely done now use the full lot and it is wicked so I'll leave it at that folks the Tiger 900 GTA Pro absolutely loving this bike so thank you very much and i shall see you on the next one bye